So most of the time when you three putt, it's because you miss it with speed and distance control. You got a 20 foot putt and you get it half or two thirds of the way there and then you've got a long second putt and you miss it. Or you're thinking, oh, I gotta be sure and get this to the hole and get this to the hole and you blow it eight feet past and then you miss the putt coming back. Today we're gonna talk about both a strategy and a visualization technique to help you control speed and distance and completely eliminate three putts. So to control speed and distance, one of the things, the first thing you've got to get in your mind is there really are only two kinds of putts. One is a putt that you feel like it's of a distance you should make, and so you're going to hit it at make speed, or at least get it to the hole. Now I know we all want to make everything, but the reality is even the PGA Tour professionals who practice putting two to four hours a day and play golf for a living, they make less than 50% of their putts over 10 feet. So for me, I take a distance about 10 to 12 feet, and that's my go for it distance. If it's longer than that, I just wanna get it near the hole. So I'm guaranteeing that I don't three putt. Here's the concept. Sometimes when you're putting, you're on offense. I'm gonna make sure I get this to the hole so that it has a chance to go in. Other times, you're on defense. I wanna get it close enough so that I'm guaranteed not to three putt. You need to learn the difference between make speed and lag speed, between when to go for it and when to be cautious, like she said. Yeah. Guys, you need to know when to proceed with caution and when to go for it. So here's how I do that. In my mind, let's say for me, the, the make distance is 10, 12, maybe 15 feet. If I'm playing in a team competition where it's a best ball or a scramble and my partner's already in the hole with a par or the team's already got a, a lockdown par and I'm 20 feet away, well, I'm gonna hit it make speed. And for me, make speed is not just get it to the hole. The problem with that is we tell ourselves on some of these putts, don't leave it short. And that's two very bad things. Number one, when you say don't leave it short, your subconscious mind cannot process a negative. And so you just as well say, leave it short because your subconscious mind doesn't process that don't. So my thought process is a positive. And it is, if I miss, get it six, eight inches past the hole, a foot, no more. And so that's what I try to do. And I visualize a little circle behind the hole. And so that if I miss, I don't want it to go further past the hole in that circle. For me on these putts, if I don't get it to the hole, that's a bad putt. If I get it six, eight, 10 inches past, that's okay, not a big deal. Let's look at how I do that on these short putts. And to help you, I've got a circle placed here by the hole. We're gonna work on a putt now that's, um, actually it's 10 feet. So this putt is 10 feet. For me, that's a putt that I feel like I should make a reasonable amount of the time so I cannot leave it short. But my thought process is not get it to the hole or don't leave it short. My process is if I miss, I wanna go six, eight, 10 inches past so that I'm guaranteed I'm gonna make it on the next putt. The inside diameter of this circle is eight inches. The outside, a couple inches. On either side makes it 12 inches. If I miss this putt, I wanna be inside that circle. 10 feet, I think the read's about left center. Tricky little break. That works. So let's do another one from this same putt. I'm gonna miss it a little bit left so that you get the concept of speed and distance. If I miss, I don't wanna be further past than that circle, but I cannot be short. So I've gotta get it six, eight inches past the hole. And that's acceptable. 
It's a little bit outside the range, but guess what? If I give myself a small room for miss, then I miss small, and that's a certain, that's less than two feet. I'm going to make that putt coming back virtually every time. Our goal here is to make more, but never to three putt. Let's do one a little bit long again. A little bit left again. All right, that's perfect. That's inside the circle. You're not going to miss. So now let's back up to one that's 21 feet. At 21 feet, you're not going to make very many, but I don't want to three putt this. So for here, my goal at 20, over 20 feet is always to get the ball within a three feet circle of the hole. If I put the ball inside of that three feet circle on a miss, whether it's short, long, left, right, that doesn't matter. The longest possible putt I've got coming back for a second putt is 18 inches. I'm going to make those and never three putt. By the way, a lot of you guys three putt from this distance. This will save you a huge number of strokes if you'll apply this. Also, you'll notice these circles that I'm using. You don't have to use those. I imagine them on the golf course. If you like them, you can pick them up cheaply. I'll put a link in the video description. All right, so now we're lined up on one that's 21 feet. It's at the distance where I want to get it there. If I leave this half an inch short in the heart, my heart rate doesn't go up. My blood pressure doesn't go crazy. I don't scream and holler. Now my buddies may make jokes about me having my purse get in the way or whatever. But if I put this inside that three feet circle around the hole, it's a good putt. And that's the goal to make more, but to never, never three putt because you control the speed and distance. Let's see how I can do. Now this one is uh, a little bit outside the left. It's gonna break some to the right. Key thing is inside that circle if it doesn't go in. And I left that one short. That's a bad putt, not acceptable. And notice, I left it short. I'm not happy with that putt, but it's still because I had a small target to put the ball in, still so short that I can just walk up and lazy stroke it in the hole. Remember the goal, remember the goal when you get to this distance is to make more, but not to three putt. This is not as easy as it seems. The idea is if you practice and visualize like this, you may not get exactly inside your circle, but your misses will be closer. And good golf is a matter of better misses. That's tolerable. That last one's good six or eight inches behind the hole. Let's try to put this one in there. Actually, until that hit the little tape holding the circle together, that one was going in. Good enough, you get the concept. Now let's back out and try a really long one, 45 feet. For that, we're gonna expand to a six foot diameter circle. So if I miss, my longest putt coming back is gonna be three feet. So this one's 45 feet. It's a double breaker. It's a hard putt. In addition to breaking two ways, it's uphill and then downhill at the end. And you notice when I drop that ball, it wants to roll. So the idea and the concept here is from this distance, I've got a six feet circle around the hole. If I were playing on the course, I'd envisualize or visualize in my mind a six foot circle. If I get it inside that circle, I'm inside, I'm, the longest putt I have is three feet for a second putt. You're not going to three putt from there. That's the idea. This is much tougher because of the double break, uphill and downhill in addition to that, and just the distance of the putt. That's all I got. So try that drill, visualize, those circles, six, eight inches past the hole, 
three feet circle around the hole, six feet circle around the hole, depending on your length. Walk up on the green, decide whether this putt is one that I'm going to hit to make speed, never up, never end, but not blast it past, only a few inches past. Or if this is a putt that I'm gonna hit somewhere near the hole in that circle. You'll find you'll make a lot more of those medium length putts, a lot more two putts, and virtually no three putts. That'll save you a lot of strokes. And if you like saving a lot of strokes, then you ought to click on like, subscribe, share, comment below on other things you'd like us to talk about on this channel. And here's to you making more putts.